first thing I want to do is I want to put holes here in the side of the fuselage. Um, this is where the pins come uh, that hold the wing on uh, the the uh, uh, the um, uh, rubber bands that keep the wing on uh, are put around these pins. Now it's very easy just to um, punch a hole through with a knife or something, but I've got a better idea. Uh, here I have my old soldering iron and I heat it up and then I just poke it through the hole and it melts away the film in the hole and sticks it to the edges of the hole like this you also have to do this to the tail here the um, this um, tube has to come out and I need a hole here so it's best to do it with the soldering iron and once more here on the tail you have to have a hole through because this this comes in and um, the film is in the way so the best thing is to just melt it away The wing also needs a couple of holes, and here is one, or uh, needs one, because here the arm of the servo is going to come out, and it is actually sitting in there, uh, but I need to get this film away, so um, I can use the soldering iron to cut away the film just have to be very careful not to touch the arm because the arm is made of plastic and it would melt so I just find where the hole is and then use the tip of the iron to carefully cut away the film there and there is the film cut away now there might be some um, some uh, I don't know what you call them, uh, just melted plastic that is then easily removed with a knife, the sharp knife. And here we have the film removed and adhered to the edge of the hole at the same time. Before I put the tail on, um, I'm going to put the servos inside and fit all the RC gear, the, the receiver and the battery. Uh, the servos I'm going to use is um, this one here. It's called uh, a Corona CS939MG, an analog servo, and it's quite small. Uh, I've already fitted a retainer here on the arm uh, and this is going to be for the tow hook and for the elevator I'm going to use this one here it is also a Corona a DS238 MG digital servo then I'm going to have the um, the receiver that came with the um, with the transmitter I bought and of course um, a battery. Uh, this one I made up myself uh, and I'll probably buy a new one before I fly it but uh, for all practical purposes to fit it in uh, this one will do nicely. The, um, the transmitter 
is this one here. It's a Futaba T6K. Uh, it says here 8 channel, um, but it says 6 channel on the box. So, um, who, you, who are you going to believe? Uh, this is a very cheap Futaba um, and uh, it's uh, very good for beginners. It's uh, sort of the entry level transmitter. Um, so in order to be able to fly this little thing and have it towed by my one of my bigger planes, um, I'm going to need two transmitters. Now the first thing I'm going to do is to put the a tow hook servo in. Uh, it fits down here and it so happens that the hole in the plate is <coughs> exactly the size for this type of servo. So the only thing I have to do is just fit it in and screw it down. I've already put the grommets and, and uh, um, ferrules in the holes and I'll, I've also put in a retainer for for the wire. So the only thing I'll have to do now is just put it in place. Now the uh, elevator servo is going to be a bit of a bother because the uh, servo itself is 28 millimeters long and about uh, 12 millimeters wide uh, but the hole is a little bit less than 12 millimeters I, ca I can actually uh, push it in there but I don't want to do that so I'll have to widen the hole and the hole itself <coughs> is only about 24 millimeters so I'll have to enlarge it a little bit um, by what um, four millimeters let's say five so I'll have to do that now Now I'm going to have to put some um, some rubber grommets on the servo and uh, copper uh, somethings. Don't know what these are called. Uh, and these will then take and hold the screws that hold the um, the servo down. Now I'm going to fit the receiver into um, the model. It will go down here. Uh, there's a this a piece of uh, sponge or foam rubber that has some glue on it. I think this was uh, a kind of a brush or something. And uh, this makes it possible to put it here on the back of the 
um, of the receiver and that will stick. Now I just have to feed the wires down into except of course this one which will be connected to the ailerons and uh, then make the receiver sit down like this. Now I can take some more foam rubber and put it here in front or in back and this will allow the receiver to sit here quite comfortably and hopefully not move an inch. Now I'll just have to uh, do something about these uh, these uh, antennas. Mm. See about that. Now, um, ha not having balanced the model in any way, I just assume that uh, the balance will be correct if I put a battery like this here in the nose. Now, I'm going to have to fit it in and uh, there are two things in the way. One is the former here, F2, uh, which I'll probably have to cut away, and there's of course the tow hook wire. Now, uh, if I put the battery down like this, you see there's uh, plenty of room for it, uh, but uh, the depth is only about three and a half, 35 millimeters or so. Uh, this is only 30 millimeters wide, so uh, it should fit in here. Uh, even if I put down a, a, a plate to uh, protect the tow hook wire. I'll, I'll do that now and uh, uh, switch on the camera when I've finished. Now I've uh, cut away former F2 and I've made this little plate from uh, uh, an offcut and I can just fit it down here and push it in um, like this and glue it down and it will support the battery. I'll probably have to take a little bit out of the canopy which sits here, but that's going to be okay. Now I'm going to glue the fin to the tailplane here, and in order to have it sitting in the correct position, I'm going to put these two steel blocks down there, and these two up here to see to it that this is perpendicular to the, the fin is perpendicular to the plane. Now there are two other things I have to do, um, quite important actually. First one is to remove a bit of the film here to get some gluing surface uh, from the balsa to the balsa. And the other is I'm going to put some clear packing tape uh, over this hole here so as not to glue the tailplane down to my building board, which is quite um, important actually. Now while the uh, tail is, um, is hardening, we can fit the ailerons. Uh, to do that you have to cut away the film where the aileron hinges are supposed to come, and I've done that on the ailerons and on the wing as well, so there's no, nothing stopping me putting the ailerons on. Uh, in order for the ailerons not to get stuck, I've also... Thank you, Artne. You are very good, that's to my one <laughs> I have also put some uh, petroleum jelly on the, um, on the center line of the hinge and I hope that it won't get stuck. Here I've, um, I've glued the tail plane to the tail fin 
um, I put some uh, uh, triangular balsa here in the corners to help hold and um, on top where there was um, a, a small hole I put some filler and I'm going to um, sand that now Most of this hole was filled with the epoxy that I used to glue these two things together and uh, um, there were just three little holes that the filler had to see to. What I now have to do is put some plastic film here on top of this tailplane to finish uh, to finish uh, finishing that and then put some on the triangular balsa as well. Here I've uh, covered the tailplane with the purple film. Uh, this extremely nice color and now I have to put the elevator here to the back of the stab. What I'm going to use is not um, hinges, but strips of film. Let's do that now. Now I've, uh, I'm preparing to glue on the tail. I've cut away the um, the film that is underneath here where where the tail fits, uh, and I'm going to use epoxy glue to glue this together. Uh, I'm going to put some here on this tube which will come in here and will hold this uh, the tail on very nicely um, while the glue hardens I'm going to hold it with some tape here is the tail held on with some tape while the epoxy glues e epoxy hardens uh, it's the tail is uh, fairly straight on uh, it's quite easy to do this actually and uh, um, if the epoxy hardens sometime next week maybe uh, due to the cold here um, the only things left are I think to balance the beast and then maybe to see if it will fly. Hopefully the weather will be good enough. So, there we are.